वर्क एंड एनर्जी पार्ट टू फॉर्म्स ऑफ एनर्जी कैनेटिक एनर्जी इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी गॉट एन इंट्रोडक्शन टू द साइंटिफिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ वर्क इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट कैनेटिक एनर्जी Try to remember the time when you were standing near the window and soaking in the warmth of the sun. That sun is the biggest natural source of energy available to human kind. Can you think of some examples of sources of energy from your daily life? We often use the term energy in our lives. but again science has its own way of defining it let's look at a few instances to understand what energy is according to science suppose you kicked a football and it rolled on the ground or you pushed a trolley and it displaced up to a certain distance In both of these situations the object has acquired capability to do work and the capacity of an object to do work is termed as energy The object which does the work loses energy whereas the object on which work is being done gains energy Suppose a ball A exerts a force on another ball B. On doing this, ball A transfers its energy to ball B. Then, after receiving the energy, the ball B possesses the capacity to do work. Therefore, we can say that any object that has energy can do work. Thus energy is measured in terms of the capacity to do work. The SI unit of energy is that of work which is joule. We can say 1 joule of energy is required to do 1 joule of work. Energy also has a larger unit kilojoule. 1 kilojoule is equal to 1000 joule. The unit of work and energy is named after a British physicist James Prescott Joule. He formulated the law of heating effect of electric current and verified the law of conservation of energy. Energy has various forms like kinetic energy, potential energy, heat energy, chemical energy, electrical energy. and light energy now let's perform a simple experiment to understand kinetic energy take a heavy ball and drop it in a bed of dry or wet sand first drop the ball from a height of 25 cm and then keep on increasing the height from where you drop the ball like 50 cm then 75 cm then 1 meter and so on don't forget to drop the ball at different positions each time so that you can have a clear view of the depression in the sand now observe the depressions and compare their depths Which depression is the deepest and which is the shallowest? What led the ball to cause a deep or shallow depression in the sand? Now, let us find the answers to these questions by performing another experiment. Look at this setup in this picture. Here, a wooden block with fixed mass is placed at some distance from a trolley. Then, a known mass is kept on the pan to displace the trolley. 
Now we will see that the trolley hits the wooden block and displaces it to a certain distance. Put a stop to the trolley after it hits the block and note the displacement of the block. The block displaced as it gained energy after work is done on it by the trolley. Can you tell from where does this energy come? Now repeat this experiment by increasing the mass on the pan. You will notice that with the increase in mass on the pan, the displacement of the block increases. It shows the increase in work done by the trolley. Trolley does work and so it possesses energy. The moving object is capable of doing work. A fast moving object does more work than a relatively slow moving object. Think of the rotating wheel or the bullet fired from a gun, both of which possess energy to do work. The energy possessed by the objects in motion is called kinetic energy. Therefore, kinetic energy can be defined as the energy possessed by an object by virtue of its motion. The more the speed, the more the kinetic energy. A speeding car, an athlete running and a man swimming are a few more examples of kinetic energy. Now, let us have a look at the mathematical derivation of kinetic energy. Suppose an object with mass m is moving along with an uniform velocity u. Let a force f act on the object and it gets displaced through a distance s along the direction of force. Now the work done w is equal to fs. The work done on the object caused a change in velocity and it changed from u to v. Let the acceleration produced in the object be A. Remember, we studied the three equations of motion. And according to the third equation, V square minus U square is equal to 2AS. From which we derived displacement. S is equal to V square minus U square the whole upon 2A. We also know F is equal to MA. Now, work done can be written as W is equal to M multiplied by A multiplied by S, which is equal to M multiplied by A multiplied by V square minus U square the whole upon 2A, which is equal to 1 upon 2M multiplied by V square minus U square. If the object was stationary when it started, that is u is equal to 0, w is equal to 1 upon 2 m v square. We learned that the work done by an object is the change in its kinetic energy. That is, if u is equal to 0, w is equal to 1 upon 2 m v square. Therefore, kinetic energy possessed by an object of mass m and moving with uniform velocity v is given by E k is equal to 1 upon 2 m v square. In this video, we learned about kinetic energy. In the next video, we will learn about potential energy.